Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Unfiltered Beer Review. Today we've got one from another one from Wicked Weed. Another one, yeah. <laughs> this is the Napoleon Complex. This is a hoppy pale ale. This is very excellent. Hey, I've had this one before. This one is very similar to a standard IPA, but maybe with a little bit less of bitterness. So it falls into the pale ale range. Um, what do you know about the ABVs and all that jazz on this sucker? Yeah, this, this fell is coming in... 5.2 percent i believe it was 47 ibus could be wrong i kind of forgot just going off the top of my head but this beer is the i don't know what you want to call it this is the pernicious but this is the session ipa basically yeah so it's not going to be as, I guess, bitter, and it's not going to be as strong in alcohol, but you're supposed to get that same flavor, like the floral aromatics, everything. Mm. I'm like him. I've had it before. I think it's good. It's one worth reviewing. So, you know, well, it's, it's so hard for us to review it again for you guys. Let's crack it open and see what's up. Crack it open. Mm. God, I love a good Wicked Weed beer. That's a pretty cool looking bottle. As with most every standard Wicked Weed bottle, it's got a pretty awesome design on it. Mm -hmm. Whoever they do, they're hired to do their bottles is fucking spot on with these. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, these were bottled on the 17th of March. So, relatively fresh. Looks like a, a pretty soapy white. Very clean white head, head yeah. yeah. Not, uh, well, yeah, actually, there is quite a bit of carbonation. Yeah. And lacing, yeah. A little bit of sediment haze, not too much, but that's not too bad. It's not like that damn prairie beer. That was horrible. Yeah, this is coming in at a very, I guess, golden amber color almost. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it's very hazy. I do see a lot of the carbonation bubbles rising, but a very clean head. What's it smell like? Heaven. It smells like that typical pernicious smell. That's what I get. Yeah, very citrusy. Very, very piney. This one isn't quite as strong as the other, as the pernicious would be. And we've got a review of that. You can see it right there over his face. My face. This is kind of like a pernicious light, in my opinion. What do you think? You didn't see me try to taste it. Oh, you already tasted it? Well, yeah, shit. Not yet. Cheers. Cheers, you guys. Mm. That was a weak one. You know, right off the top of the, the tongue, I get the hoppiness. It's not bitter at all. But I kind of get more of a malt flavor from this. Yeah. I'm I not going to say that. this is like an English style IPA by any means where those are malt forward IPAs, but I get a little bit of a malt characteristic from this or a stronger one. Right. Yeah, I agree with that. It's not quite as, as bitter or hoppy, um, but yeah, as the pale ale goes, it's very hoppy. Um, it's excellent, actually. Well, this one's really good. I enjoy it. It's very, very floral. It's still very aromatic. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of the citrusy, kind of get a little bit of the piney notes. You know, to me, this is a pernicious. It's just not as bitter. Yeah, pretty much. Nice pale ale, drinkable as fuck. Alcohol is pretty good. Mm-hmm. I like this. This is very good. Yeah. I could see the green coming out of that one. The green? Yep. Oh, that's cool. So what would you rate this one? I uh, would go with a B on this. Just a B? A B. You know, I'm... I'm not far off of that with you. I might be on a high B plus, 
low A minus. I don't really know what you'd call that. Uh, okay. But it's pretty enjoyable. Another great beer from Wicked Weed, you know, as is all of them. When's Wicked Weed going to fuck up and make a nasty beer? I guess when you go and work for them. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> I don't know. It's they, They're doing everything right there at Wicked Weed. You know, they're expanding. Everybody wants their beer, so they're making the money. I'm not going to say they're going to sell out, but let's hope not. Yeah, that's probably when they'll start making gross beers when they sell out. Yeah, I'm surprised Ballast Point hasn't yet. After their sellout, bitches. That's a good beer. I like it. Yeah. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Really bright ass green carrier. Yeah, it is. Little beer, big flavor, even bigger ego. Har har. It's a good beer. Well, they can't see me without my hat on. The Napoleon Complex. Napoleon Dynamite. You like Napoleon Dynamite, don't you? God! Idiot! This is beer. It's good. Well, I guess that's it for this episode of Unfiltered Beer Reviews, guys. I guess until next time, keep drinking good beer like this one here. And stay frosty. Stay frosty.